give me some hair tips. If anybody has any hair tips, please do give me some. I'm really annoyed I can't make the um, comments bigger today because I'm going to have to be a bit squinty and I do apologise. You're going to have my massive forehead in the fucking camera. Oops, sorry, I shouldn't swear. Yeah, so everybody that's saying like, that's a really nice offer and stuff. But yeah, my inbox is always open. Obviously, um, I do have a busy life though, so I can't always answer straight away. But I do, I do try to get back to people as much as I can. So um, please do message me if you're not feeling very good. Um, okay, who else? I feel like I like talking about the mental health topic as well um, because most of my followers are men. Um, I mean, obviously, like, I'm a woman with mental health issues, but, you know, like, men don't tend to talk about their mental health issues as much as women. So I feel like it's kind of a good platform to, you know, just ask the men on my TikTok, are you OK? And if you need to talk, there's someone here that you can talk to. So, yeah coconut oil okay i'll try coconut oil i do feel like i've tried that before though and it, and it didn't work but i'll give it another go i feel like it was many years ago that i did that i tried argan oil once and i didn't feel like that worked um ten in one shampoo what's that needs to be organic A silicon shampoo brush? What's that? I've never even heard of one. I think it is something to do with my brush though as well. I have, I only have a tangle teaser. So maybe I need to stop using a tangle teaser to brush my hair with. Um, try it to... Why most of men? Um, just because I, I don't know why. I actually do want to gain more women followers, um, but most of my followers are men. Um, I guess it's the type of content that I do. Uh, but yeah, I do feel like I'm trying to switch it up a bit so I can gain some more girl followers too. Female followers. How much would I would chuck chuck? Um, my outfit check really isn't exciting today, guys. I'm literally just wearing some shorts with um, a sports bra, I guess, or a crop top. Um, okay, I've caught up with all the comments now. I live basically just outside of London, north of London. Um... Sorry, I do have to keep... I feel like this is just the worst angle. Let me get comfy. No, because then I'm not going to be able to see you. Hold on. Hold on. Let me sort this out. Sorry, you just got feet checked there. Is that better? <laughs> I feel like that's a better angle, but now I can't read anything. Um, I need to turn this. Why is it not turning? There we go. There. I feel more comfortable now. I wasn't very comfortable the other way. Um, these clothes actually aren't very aren't uncomfortable at all. Then, but just my jammies, just my pajamas. See, but when I sit back here, I can't see what you guys are saying because I need my glasses on. But then when I've got my glasses on, just there's a glare from the ring light. <laughs> I can't win today, can I? I should have really thought about how I was going to set up the ring light today. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cute that you waved back. It is too hot for pyjamas, but I'll take them off after the live, obviously. 
<laughs> Thank you. I do actually really like it. I got these glasses years ago and I completely forgot that I had them. Um, and then I just came across them and I was like, they're a vibe. I like these. Um, hi. Hi, Jimmy. Okay, so ask me some questions, guys. Ask me some questions. I'm quite open. I'm happy to talk about most things as long as I can say them on TikTok Live as well because I don't want to get banned. Um, so obviously I've got my nose piercing. I've got two holes in my ears. I haven't got any. Um, I did have my belly button pierced, but I was, um, I've was i had two children, so I had to take my belly button piercing out when I was pregnant. Um, Darren's question... Yes. Um, I will message you separately. Hold on. Or actually, if you go on, okay. If anyone is, wait one second, let me just check and see who's watching my live before I say anything. Uh, basically, I do have um, OF, um, and if you'd like to know what it is, then um, message me on Instagram and ask me for it on there. Because I'm not going to put it up in here. Uh, my toes are white. But if you want to see them, you're going to have to pay. Uh, yes, Darren, I do. Thanks, Big Tams. Have you opened any of my new stuff that I uploaded today? Did I send you anything? Oh, oh I like this question. This is a cool question. Last meals on death row. Start a main dessert and drink. Wow. Um, okay. My starter. Starter. My starter. My starter. My, if I just said my starter. Um, my starter would be. I don't know. There's so many different types of food out there now that like, I don't know. I look, okay, I'll come back to the starter, but I know what my, my main would be like. Okay, my starter would be like sushi. My main would be maybe like a ramen or some kind of like noodly brothy thing. Um, pho. And then my dessert would be apple crumble and custard. Hot apple crumble, cold custard. Um... And then a drink, a glass of wine, probably. So, yeah. Oh, no. No. Oh. They'd have to be dumplings or, like, um, dim sum or something in there as well. Yeah. What was your question, John? Sorry, I've missed it. Sorry, I am just looking through the comments because I missed some. Weirdest requests I've had. Weirdest requests you've had duck spring rolls. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Um, no, as long as mine was that sort of like Asian cuisine, then yeah, I'd be happy. That is my favourite type of food. I'm good, thank you. Um, R dot 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 one. Or my Instagram's in my um, in my bio of my TikTok, but uh, yes, Adam. But you need to message me on Instagram, and then I will send it to you. My Instagram name is what's my Instagram name? Oh, it's Amelia Rich. A M E I L I A Rich. 
um, but it is also linked in my bio on my TikTok, so just go through that. And also give my um, give my new videos some love. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if maybe I've been shadow banned or something, but my recent videos are getting like no views at all, um, which is quite annoying. Um, how's everything going? Oh, this is a nice little head massage I'm giving myself. Uh, everything's going good. I had a really busy weekend and I had a lot to drink, so I was feeling a little bit anxious today, but I always feel like that after I've drank. Um, but other than that, I feel, I feel good. All good. Yes, you can buy my used socks. <laughs> yeah, go and get go and give some of my new videos some love because I don't, I don't know what's going on. I was banned a couple of weeks back, so I don't know if maybe that's whatever. Um. Look, guys, if you want to talk about this, just add me on Instagram and ask me on there because I don't really want to talk about things like this on a live. Thanks. Unless anybody wants a live wallet drain, I'm all about that. I love a live humiliation. Anyone for a live humiliation? Oh, really lovely. I love that. I'd love to go and sit out in the rain right now. Yeah, gift me. What, John wants to be humiliated? I'm waiting for the reply. Hi, Lucky. Okay, well, first of all, you need to um, send to my cash app, so you can do that first. Pound sign Mimi ninety four sixty nine. Because I'm not doing anything for free. Ah, oh, thank you for the panda. Someone send me send me some more gifts. No one's asking me anything, and I don't really have much to say today. So I need I need a little bit of I need someone to. I don't know. Whatever you want to buy me. I am a mum, yes. I've got two I've got two children. Two year old and a three year old. I did not look my best today and I have like more viewers than I've had in quite a couple of weeks. Actually that's not true. Last week I my um lives were doing really well. Why did I start TikTok? So, I actually started TikTok just for fun. I just liked making silly videos, um, doing, like, transformation videos of me, like, not wearing makeup and then wearing makeup, things like that. Um, my Instagram is Amelia Rich. A-M-E-I-L-I-A -I -I Rich. Um, yeah, so I started just making, like, little silly videos in my spare time. And then a few of them went viral and I got like a fair few followers um, and kind of introduced me into like the Findom world and stuff. Um, and then it all kind of went from there. But I'm trying to like not post so much about the Findom stuff now because I like that. I now do that through OF. Um, so I want to get my TikTok back to doing like my what I originally started doing like with the transitions and um because they were more fun for me to 
be quite honest. Um, my outfit is just my pyjamas, to be honest. I've got my bikini bottoms on underneath, but yeah, I've just got some white shorts and a uh, crop top on. Ah, oh, thank you. I do, I do actually love doing lives. I just love like not feeling alone in the evenings because being a single mum, like once the kids have gone to bed, as much as I can't wait for them to go to bloody sleep, once they are asleep, I'm like, oh, what do I do with myself now? So then when I get on the lives, it's just, it's just fun. And I'm, I'm, I seem to have a lot of people that regularly come on, which is nice. Cause I feel like, even though I don't know what you look like, like I know that I know them a little bit, like it's weird. Oh, thanks, Big Tams. Okay, yeah. When uh, when after this live, I'll um I'll have a look at my Instagram messages. I actually really need my nails doing. So, Lucky, if you're still here, please. Um, it's 20, 20 pounds. It cost me 20 pounds to get my nails done. Um, but including my toes as well, which do need doing. <laughs> toes, pedicure, nails, 70 quid for the lot. Um, when, so, so my, my Instagram profile is private, but when um, I do pretty much just accept everybody, unless your Instagram name is something like serial killer 69 or like, <laughs> I just like to try and weed out any like weirdos. But um, apart from that, I, I pretty much accept everybody. So don't, don't be put off by the fact you've got a request. And then, yeah, just, I think you can message me anyway, even though my account's private. Just my hands is £20. Oh, really? I think that they're mugging you off. I think that they're pretending that their nails cost 50 quid, but they don't. I think they're trying to make a little profit there. Um, I don't speak French. No, sorry. Bonjour, that's probably about as much as I know. Oh, you messaged me about free, okay, I'll go back. I do get a lot of messages, so I'll just go back and have a look and see if I can find find it, sorry. Sometimes I do miss things. Or sometimes I open, I'll open someone's message and then the kids will distract me. And then like, obviously I spend time with them and then I just forget to reply. So I do apologize, but I do try and reply to as many messages as I can. Um, I'm from just outside of London, north of London. I've got a really itchy knuckle. What does that mean? What do I do to cope when I'm anxious? Um, I even... See, things like the food shop, because the food shop is, is like my one thing, like every, every time I do the food shop, I feel so anxious, but I can't really remove myself from that situation all the time because I, I need to do a food shop. So I'm like... I just kind of breathe through it, get it done as quick as quickly as I can. Um, and then usually if I'm having like a really bad anxiety attack while I'm food shopping, then I will just leave. Um, but yeah, there's been so many times where I, le I literally leave, um, I leave Asda, get in my car and just cry. Cause I'm like, oh my God, that was so hard. And I don't understand why it's so, I don't know what my deal is with the food shop just always feel so anxious about doing it. Um, another thing I do to cope with anxiety is in the evenings when I'm not, when I'm not doing this, um, if I've had like a really bad day of anxiety, um, I put like one of those incense burners on and I just kind of sit in my front room and just like 
smell I don't know it's like one of my favorite scents it doesn't have to be an incense burner I suppose it could be anything you like the smell of but I just kind of sit there and like close my eyes and like smell listen that sort of thing try and bit ground myself a bit and feel a bit more present I guess I feel very dis dissociated sometimes First time scrolling on live here, talk about so live with many people. Is it possible here? Let's talk about anxiety and live. Are you saying you want to talk about anxiety in a live? I recently found that squeezing a big ball. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um What else do I do? I haven't had panic attacks for years, but when I did used to have panic attacks, I um, I would I would have to literally take myself away from whatever situation I was in, find a quiet place, sit and just breathe, and then I think I practiced that so much that it then became like I didn't have the panic attack feeling anymore. Um, I didn't panic about it anymore, so I, yeah, it just, I don't know what I've done to my finger, but it's really itchy. Um, yeah, I just, uh, learnt how to breathe through it, I guess. But anxiety is something I think I have every single day, but I've just kind of got used to it, I guess. Yeah, you will hear back from me on Instagram, don't worry, after I've come off this live, I will have a look through all my messages and answer ones that I haven't replied to. If I've forgotten to reply to them or something. Promise. Um, I don't do those. So I'm, I can't say that mine um, is linked to that. But I will say that, like, um, after I've drank alcohol, like, a couple of days after, my anxiety is a lot higher. Um, but that's amazing that you stopped... That's amazing that you stopped um, doing that. Um, so I'm proud of you. Uh, I, I, I definitely learned how to control my panic attacks 100%. And now, even now, I, I mean, I haven't had one in a very, very long time. But if I was going to have one, I would know how to stop it. I would know, like, how to not have one. But I started having them when I was, like, 14 years old. And I think I, I think my last one was probably about six years ago. So it still took me, I, you know, I, I, I suffered with panic attacks for many years. Um, I'll keep doing that and I'm going to get fucking banned in a second, aren't I? Um, do, do, do. So, yeah. It's nice that I've managed to keep quite a lot of people in the chat, but I do worry because, like, not as many people that are watching are actually talking. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. Hello, everybody. Come on, ask me some questions. I love doing lives. I love doing lives that like people literally just don't stop talking. Hold on, I'm gonna take my glasses off for a bit and come up a bit close to the camera so I can actually read what you're saying. Hold on. Um, are you trying to guess my age? Cause 22, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with that, but I'm not 22. I do believe in spirit. Who wants to hear my ghost story? I'll tell you exactly why. I'm not 21, I'm higher. Um, and I'll tell you exactly why I believe in spiritual stuff. One thing I've learned that no one knows we are anxious unless we announce it. Um, yes and no, but I feel like your family members definitely do know. 
um, or like your close friends because my close friend can always tell when I'm anxious and she'll be like, are you okay? Should we go somewhere else or should we, you know? Um, but I think like new people, like if you have like a fear, like a social anxiety and like you're going to, I don't know, like a christening or something and you're not really going to know anybody there or like a wedding or... Um, I think, like, people that you meet that you don't see much or they're new people that you've met, I don't think they realise you're anxious. But, yeah, my close family and friends definitely do notice when I'm anxious. I zone out a lot. Um, you want to know the ghost story, right? So the ghost... No, it's... Sorry, before I say the ghost story, no, I don't have any tattoos, but I, uh, I do want to get some soon. And the um, age question, I'm 27. Right, so my ghost story is, basically, I um, I had this ex who had a heart transplant and um, I'd never, like, seen a ghost in my life or anything like that. I have always suffered with, like, sleep paralysis and stuff, but I wasn't having sleep paralysis this night. So yeah, I know that when I have sleep paralysis, like, sometimes I can hallucinate with it. But I wasn't having sleep paralysis this, this night. Um, and I just remember waking up in the middle of the night um, and there was just like this young-ish guy, maybe like mid-20s, um, sitting on the end of my bed in like a white shirt. And he just got up and just like walked into my wardrobe and just like disappeared into the wardrobe. Um, and I was like really freaked out. And I know, I know it was definitely happening. Like I wasn't dreaming. Um, my boy, the guy that I was with at the time, um, yeah, I knew that if I told him about it, like he'd be like, this is bollocks. He, he's not the sort of person that would believe in all that sort of stuff. But I think it was his, um, I think it might've been his donor because he had a heart transplant. I think it might've been the young lad that died and had given his heart, yeah. Because I've never seen a ghost before that. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's my that's my ghost story. I mean, I guess it was a good ghost. But um what else have I got to tell you spiritually? Okay, get this then. So my oh, actually because then I have to tell you my daughter's name. And I'm not really I don't really want to do that. But basically, my daughter's name is is quite a spiritual name. And she came three weeks early on the night of a supermoon. Um, so it was all just very spiritual from the start, I think, because we'd already like decided her name before she came and everything. Um, and then when she was a baby, I, um, I took her, I used to take her swimming every Thursday. And then there was this lady that was in the changing rooms and she was like, oh, your, your daughter's been here before. And I was like, well, yeah, we come every Thursday. Um, but she, and then she was like, no, 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 she's been in this life before. She was like, I can, she's got so much energy like coming from her. Like, you know, you, you really need to um, look into like natural witching because she's a, she's a witch. I was like, what, what is this woman going on about? Anyway. Um, I went to a crystal shop maybe about a year later and um, she literally, like obviously she was born on the night of a super moon um, so there's always been like something to do about the moon um, and the first like crystal thing she picked up was a, a rainbow moonstone and she was also, um, I had three miscarriages before I had her so she was my rainbow baby so I just found it so like odd but like str strange in a good way that she'd actually picked out like the first thing she was drawn to was a rainbow moonstone. Um, and then also when um, the lady and the guy in the crystal shop, the staff, they were like, oh my God, like she's she's definitely gifted. Like you really do need to like practice things with her as she gets older and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see if when she gets a bit older, if she's gonna 
be able to see things or like be a medium or something. I definitely do believe in it all. Um, so yeah. No such thing as witches. <laughs> um, right. While we're on the subject of witches then, let me tell you um, another little story. So there's a, a, um, a woodland area near me. Like it's a massive like, it goes for like ages. You can go for really nice walks there. Um, and basically nearby that there's um, this like nudist um, like residential area. Um, and I used to work in a nursery with one of the, the nudist lady. Obviously she never came to the nursery nude, but um, she she lived within that like campsite or whatever it was. Um, and there was one time we all got talking about like religion and stuff and um, we were like, oh, you know, Michelle, are you, are you religious? And she was like, I can't talk about it. And then we were all like, what? And she was like, no, she was like, please just don't even ask me. And she started going like really red and sweaty. And she was like, like, it seemed like she felt really uncomfortable. Um, and she was like, I can't talk about it. So don't ask me again. Anyway, um... I was going for a walk through... That was years ago that this happened, by the way. And then I was going for a walk through these woods with my brother. Um, he's a little bit of a... I don't know if I can say it on TikTok Live. You know, um, a stroner, basically. <laughs> uh, and so the stuff he was coming out with, I was just like, here we go again. Um, but yeah... He, w he was saying, oh, you know, there's witches in these woods. And I was like, what? He was like, yeah, no one's allowed to know about it, though. And, it, and he said that, like, it's the nu the nudist camp that um, they all live there. It's, it's actually a cult. Like, there's a coven in this, w in this nudist, like, residential area. Um, and at first it didn't click. And I was just like, you're making this up. You're making this up. And then I was thinking, oh, actually, Michelle used to live there. And then I was thinking, oh, my God, that time when we were all talking about religion and she was literally like getting all flustered, like, I can't talk about it, don't ask me again. And now I'm thinking, oh my God, is my stoner little brother actually being serious? Is there actually a witch's cult around the corner from me? I don't know. And then I tried to Google it. Um, and then when you look on like all the Facebook forums and stuff for this like certain area, people try and talk about it. And then I think the people within the communi community, like they get really aggy and they're like, I can't remember what they were saying, but they get really aggy in the comments about talking about it. Um, so yeah, God, I hope that like by doing this live, I haven't just like brought negative energy to me. 